Hey everybody, welcome back to Vedic Sage. I'm Dr. Dollywell, and today we're going to be talking about perhaps the most interesting and most comprehensive science called Ayurveda, which really encompasses the physical, psychological, and spiritual aspects of life. And as we mentioned in a previous uh, video, Ayurveda is the science of life. The theory explains that there's an unmanifested state of pure energy or awareness. And out of that pure, unmanifested state of energy comes the expression of the five elements. And those five basic elements are ether, air, fire, water, and earth. So these five basic elements create the fabric, create the matrix, create the whole integration and the interplay of all the forces that we know of in the universe. Each of these five basic elements, ether, air, fire, water, and earth, all have certain characteristics. For example, ethers, the space, Air has the quality of movement. For example, the wind is always moving. Fire is a hot quality. Light, bright. Water, fluidity. And earth in itself is grounding. So what happens is Ayurveda explains that all of these elements are just dancing around and interplaying with each other. So the interplay of these elements form an organization of qualities or characteristics which are considered doshas. Vata, pitta, and kapha are doshas or the expression and organization of certain qualities and attributes that are governed from the five basic elements, ether, air, fire, water, and earth. So if we look at vata dosha, it's the organizing principle and the organizing organization of qualities from ether and air. For example, vata dosha is thought to be dry, light, cold, mobile, subtle, right? So these dry, light, cold qualities, these subtle qualities and mobile qualities of vata are the expression of ether and air predominant elements. Hot, sharp, light, liquid, mobile, and oily qualities of pitta are the expression of the fire and water elements, okay? And we can go on and say that kapha, kapha is the organizing principle of water and earth and give the qualities of heavy, dull, slow, liquid, oily um, characteristics and qualities that are considered qualities that belong to kapha dosha and expressing primarily water and earth elements. So in essence, we're starting off with pure unmanifested energy which expresses itself into the five basic elements which create the whole fabric of life as we know it, ether, air, fire, water, and earth, and they organize themselves into a group of qualities and characteristics known as doshas, for example, vata, pitta, and kapha. Vata being energy and movement, pitta being light and transformation, and kapha being matter and preservation. So nearly 5,000 years ago, these wise sages of the land have pretty much documented a theory of relativity. Okay, E equals mc squared. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Here we have the expression of energy we have light and matter, okay? Now, how can we use these qualities to express life? For example, vata is energy and movement. So even from a neurological standpoint, if you look at the neuron cell, okay, we can say that the electrical impulse that takes place within the neuron, the electrical impulse that's traveling and transmitting um, signal transmission is the movement of vata. Okay, the respiration that takes place within our body is really the movement of air, alveolar ventilation, is vata. The cardiac circulation that's taking place, the, the movement of blood through the vessels is vata. When we think about pitta, we should be thinking about transformation. Okay, for example, you eat the food, the digestion that takes place is pretty much transformation. It's converting the apple into glucose and from glucose to ATP, which is all the transformation of one substance into another substance and extrapolating energy. That's an example of transformation which is governed by pitta. So for example, we can say there's pitta within the mind where data sensory stimuli comes in and we basically have to transform that information into understanding, cognition, and then comprehension. So these are just simple analogies of how 
these doshas interplay within the, the body, within the mind, within the universe. For example, kapha. The theme of kapha is primarily a preservation of groundingness. For example, the immune system. The immune system is trying to preserve our bodily tissue and prevent outsiders or invaders or foreign substances, foreign bodies coming into our system and in invading. So we're going to be talking about this all in great detail. And in the next videos, we're going to basically see how these qualities play out within the body, mind, and soul. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.